Good morning, my brother. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm supposed to tell you what happened yesterday, but I slept off. So look at how the things goes. Uh, I was in a, in a, although I've attended that uh, church for how many years now? Since 2013. And I attended the church since 2013. So all this uh, rubbish with me and the man of God, it all started when uh, last year I went to Sunday service because I normally travel from Bayasa to Wari every week because they have free bus that always that normally carries uh, people from Bayasa to Wari from the church so that is how i attended that particular sunday service and uh, i i well, after the service after the closing of the service i was coming down because i like sitting at the up gallery so after the closing of the service i came down from the step I was not the only person, we were many. So I was coming down. The man of God, Prophet Jeremiah, he was co- also coming down with his protocol. So I'm going to send you the boy's number that he asked to come and meet me one on one to collect the number. So that is how he now asked, he stopped and asked me, How are you? I said, Daddy, I'm fine. Say, What is your name? I told him my name. So he now said, uh, where am I from? I said, I'm from Cross River. He said, no, are you, are you following the Bayasa bus? I said, yes, I'm following the Bayasa bus from uh, Bayasa to uh, Wari. He now says, OK, I should meet one of the protocol he now pointed the boy which i'm going to send you the boy's picture he pointed the boy to me me i was even thinking maybe he want to see me the next week sunday so i when i was going i saw someone following me up he now called me which is the person that came again following me up he now he now meets me and the person is a uh, his pa he now meets me, say, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Are you the person that the daddy say you want to see, which is a prophet Jeremiah? I say, yes. He now asked me to give him my number. I gave him the number. I said, he's going to call me. Although I now dropped the bus that was coming to buy her was two. I and my friend were coming together. So I gave my friend my phone to charge inside the bus for me while I enter another bus. So when we dropped, when we have gotten to Bayelsa, the my friend and said, ah, my phone was ringing, you know. I said, who is the person? I now checked. I called the number back. It was his PA. I now said, okay, sir, it's me. He said, hey, I've been calling you now. I told him, the phone is not with me. He now said, okay, where are you? I said, I've gone back to Bayelsa. I said, but we asked you to wait now that Papa want to see you. I said, ah, sorry, I didn't know he want to see me i was thinking maybe it's next week sunday or he now said can i enter vehicle to um uh, worry on monday morning morning i say yes i can come it's okay i should come so it was it went, reaching the monday i cannot i can't remember the day but i snapped a picture that day which they had my account i don't i can't recall so he now say okay, and I enter transport to worry the next day, which is on Monday. That is how I went to that church. I job. I was going to the to their mountain, thinking the man of God is inside the mountain. Maybe he want to see me inside the mountain, want to prophesy to me. And I called him. Uh, 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 I called his peer again. Say, sir, I'm in uh, the church. I'm inside mountain. Say, no, it's not mountain. Come to Goodness Lodge. I said, goodness, Lord. I said, okay, can I come out from that, uh, their mountain to the goodness, Lord? He said, when I get to the goodness, Lord, I should meet the reception. 
when I meet the reception, as you call him. So when I get there, I now call the reception, I now call him. He talked to the reception. They now took me to the up up room. I didn't check this. The first one, I didn't check the number of the room. So that is how I went. When I went to that place, he asked me to sit down. And I sat. Then he asked me, how are you? I said, I'm fine. He said, he saw me holding apple. Am I married? I said, no, I'm not married. But I just like to hold apple. That is how he said, OK. Before I will know, he said, have I eaten? I said, no, I've not eaten because I left the house very early. He now removed 20,000 from his pocket and gives to me. He said, I should use that eat. I should call the reception to bring food for me. I was not, I was not feeling hungry because all my mind was praying that ah, God have answered my prayer because even the men people didn't follow me to the church. So I said, ah, God have, I said, thank God. And I told my friend, look at what happened. Though. And the funniest thing, eh, the day he met me, the boy I was dating left me that Sunday. So the day he met, that Sunday he met me, that is the day my boyfriend called me that he cannot continue with the relationship. So I was there crying. So on that point, that is why I went down from that day after the closing of the church. So maybe my friend will remember that day that he told me that he doesn't want me again. So I now told my friend, look, after you have told me that you don't want me, maybe your, what you said now have pushed the man of God to see my case. He now said her, oh yeah, go and meet him now. He and I said, when I went there, so the guy now gave, his peer now gave me 20,000. When he gave me the 20,000, he said I should call for food. I, I did not call because I was so happy. I said, God, I was waiting for what the man want to come and tell me. So the peer now came again and I asked me, can you keep secret? I said, yes, like what kind of secret? I said, don't worry. You will see, you will know the secret. I will tell you the secret later. I said, okay, sir. Before I wait, he now come again. Say, the man of God is coming. When he comes inside, don't rush him. Don't rush the man of God here. I said, okay, no problem, sir. So before I wait, he said, now ask me if the room telephone ring. I should pick it up and talk to the person. I now went, in, in the next 30 minutes, the phone now rang telephone now rang i pick it up and uh, i call uh, i pick when i picked i saw that is a uh, prophet jeremiah voice he now say how are you i said i'm fine with a low voice i said i'm fine he now say he's coming and i say okay i waited when i wait before in the next 10 minutes i saw somebody he came inside with this, uh, we came with supper with Nika and Polo. I said, uh, I get up, I greeted him, good, good morning, sir, because it was in the morning. I greeted him. When I greet him, he now, I was not on the chair. He now sat on the bed. He said, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Say, you have seen the man of God that you have been praying for, to see God has answered your prayer. What do you do for a living? I told him that I'm making hair, but I don't have uh, I'm not working for now because anywhere I work, they don't normally pay me. So that they will bring bring up and when time reach to pay me, they will bring up issue. So he now said, uh, uh, what, what, what of my parents? I said, my parents, they are all they say, I hey. say, okay, I should know what God has answered my prayer. I should look for any kind of business that I, sh- I, I would like to do and tell them, calculate everything and the shop everything and tell them the amount. When I'm ready, I say, okay, that they have heard. He now started to come and sit on the bed. Uh, my mind was, uh, how will I come and sit on the bed? He said, no, don't be scared. He saw this scared on me. He said, no, don't be scared. Come and sit. This you. He's a Papa J that is talking. Come and sit on the bed. So when I sat on the yeah. bed, that is how the man hold me down on the bed and slept with me. After sleeping with me, that is how he went this outside. He now said, I should give him my number. I gave him. He said, he's going to call me. Before I was inside the room, he called me that this is number was my name i told him my name he now brought 250 uh, 000 inside black lion come and give to me i was wondering is this real or not as i was say okay i said putting myself i put up i said putting more effort 
going to the church. So you all the the, the one that uh, got me pregnant. Uh, I will also send you the picture and I will I will check the date and send to you. So the one that uh, got me pregnant, I went to the church October first. On that October, I saw my menses before going to the uh, the program. I saw my menses before that time. I saw my menses on the twenty something. After that, he. I went, that, that period I went to, that child was with my ovulation. So after the closing of that uh, 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 mountain on that day, he now called me after 10. I will send you the picture that I was in the church with you on that October 1st. He called me to 10. Say, we are my, I said, I'm my Lord, it's okay. Have I taken my bed? I said, yes. He said, I should come to room 17 in goodness lodge i went to i when i went i called him he said i should pass the back door i should come from i should enter from the back door i should not go to the front door where uh, these people are that is how i enter the uh, front uh, back door and enter the uh, place so he now said uh, he asked me to say he was making call that day was asking people how much is a bulletproof car i was asking telling somebody they want to buy a car for a pro you want to surprise that pro that i was there so after i finished that is i now i own me so i should come to zoom the color was so and i entered the room that is how the man slept with me again that uh, october 1st that he slept with me after sleeping with me when i was inside his church so um uh, i now I, they were having program too so i stayed there for like how many i stayed from that october to november so i was having this symptom i was sick in that process and i called it when i when the symptom of pregnancy and i spoke i said ah, Thank God, though, for how many months I have not slept with anybody, which God bear me weakness. All my life I was in that church. All my everything, you know, I don't walk. Even you see me, I'll be going to, you see me. If you want to look for me, you look for me. If you want to see me, that is the church that you will see me in Mercy City. So I was there from that October to November almost ending. So after November something, November 6th to November 20 something. So I started feeling this symptom of uh, pregnancy, vomiting. I was, how is it possible? So I hide. I went and buy urine test outside the gate, and I checked. It was uh, pregnant. I, I showed to uh, positive. So I called the, uh, I called the uh, uh, this person, his PA. I said, look at what is going on now. I've not seen my men this, this month. Too. And look at the symptom I'm feeling. I will tell the assistant pastor that, oh, look, I'm not feeling fine. He said, I should go to the outside gate and tell them that it's the one that sent that should give me drugs. Because me, I, was, I know what was going on because I didn't want to tell him to be. I know he knows. So I now called the PA that uh, introduced me to the, carry me to the uh, GEO, uh, the the uh, jeremiah room i said look at her i'm pregnant for jeremiah i will send you the picture that i will send you the message that he sent for me after telling him he said now nah, i should go and do it to if papa here papa will not be happy with me i said oh, are you people telling me to are you telling me to go and do abortion now i cannot do abortion so on that process i told the I called Jeremiah, I did not pick up. I sent him a voice because that is how he normally answers uh, easily. I sent him a voice note. When I sent him the voice note, I told him, since that day to today, he doesn't pick my call. The only time when he pick, he will silence, he will not talk. So someone told me that uh, he doesn't want me to record his voice and I will use it against him in the voice. He didn't don't know that I already have his voice record when he called me threatening me all those stuff i didn't hear but yes, I it's too small for me so after then the, the pa was pressuring me that I should come that he will not do me anything so i was very serious he will not do me anything that i should um uh, uh, take a drop carry taxi from bias i take a job i should take and come to worry or if you if me i want that he will send vehicle from uh, 
just beg for to come and pick me. I said, okay, don't worry, I will come. So my mind was not to go because if I go, what I see, they will force me to inject me to, or maybe they will take me to a doctor. I will not be able to do anything. That is how I lock up everything. Before I knew his uh, driver that was driving the uh, Jeremiah before called me, said, baby, where are you? I said, I'm in Bayasa. He said, where you are, you better leave that place and off your phone because Jeremiah is sending some policemen to come and pick you up, to come and look for you, and he's going to send uh, put allegation on your head. So that is why I, I did not leave the house, but I secretly I was uh, not close to the house. So the other day, it's only God that saved me. After the boy told me I did not hear, so he, I went, I one afternoon, I saw people, my church member with some people, the church member, his church member, came in to come to my house looking for me. Then I asked one of my neighbors, they didn't know I was inside. So me, I was peeping them from the window with the policemen. And I said, so this is truth. That is how I, I pick interest of these people. I said, okay, I'm not going to leave the house. Let me see how they will do it. So then I left. I did not lock my lo- uh, uh, door. So one of them put hands. Said, ah, this door is not locked. So my neighbor and I said, these people, they are not around. Though. They, are, they are not around. That is how they left the house and go. So in the morning, I wake up very early, 5 o'clock. I went outside to stand. When I stand there, I saw the woman police with two men coming down from my house, coming down from the, the this into the house. So I quickly saw them. I ran to my sisters, my younger ones. I asked them to lock the door. So I told one of my neighbors that having baby that she should go and sit down in that uh, my house and wait. If they ask her, she should tell them that me have packed from that place and I'm no longer living there. That she is the one that is living in that place. That is that day when I was in that woman's house in her toilet window hearing what they are saying then i asked so when the the woman now told them that this girl have packed to she now and i asked her since how many months she told us in steady months that is how they left that day when they left that day they did not go so me I, I went i turned back to go and check i was seeing them standing they talk for like one hour stand for road stand on the road and be talking for one hour so that is how they are looking for me everywhere bomber to bomber to wicked me According to the driver, I say, and I asked him, what if they, they caught me that time? He said they would have hide me. That means they would have killed me. Where my family would not, I would not expose them. That is how everything, uh, I'm talking to you, said they are not looking for me. So that is how I'm hiding myself. So all those things, I'm going to send those pictures, the days and everything that I have. With the very, very first that I told this peer that I look at, I'm pregnant too. I'm going to send the message that you replied to me. So when you finish uh, listening to it, you just message me so that I'm going to, so that I will send you those pictures and everything.